Welcome everybody on my behalf as well. It's wonderful to be among people who actually want to change the world. I, I think there's a completely different atmosphere in a setting like this where we have entrepreneurs and people who want to see entrepreneurs succeed. We actually want to change the world. It reminds me of, of something I realized as a golfer. I don't know how many of you play golf, but you might have noticed that when somebody hits the ball into a lake, they will say that the ball went into the lake, as if the ball had brains and legs. It just went to the lake. I didn't hit it into the lake. The ball went to the lake. When the ball goes to the green, it says, I shot a beautiful shot, and the ball landed on the green. And that sort of is, a, is an unconscious way of thinking. And many of us think in, let's say, real life, in our professional life and capacity, in a bit of a similar way. When things start to go bad, we change into a passive mode. We talk in passive. Things are going bad. Not that I have made a mistake and I need to fix it. I need to do something. Entrepreneurs and all of us who want to support entrepreneurs, we actually say that I shot the ball into the lake, I'll get my swimming trousers and dive it up and hit it again, and I'll continue hitting as long as it takes to get it into the hole. And that's a wonderful spirit, and all Finns and all people from other countries have lots to learn from that. No, Finland is facing a very difficult time, and I'd like to say a few words of about that. As you know, we are the first European country and the second country in the world where more people will be leaving the workforce every year than are coming into the workforce. And this obviously means that as we have more people in retirement and living longer, and we have to support them through pensions and increased healthcare costs. Some people in the country actually need to generate the wealth that is used to pay the costs of this increasing portion of the population that is living on the, the earnings of the smaller portion. And this continuously decreasing portion of people who work in the private sector need to support naturally everybody else. The healthcare makes this much worse in the sense that if our current productivity doesn't improve, every fifth Finn will be working in the healthcare sector in 15 years. Which means that not just are more people outside the workforce, but people in the workforce are increasingly working for the public sector and obviously being paid by tax money and an ever-decreasing portion of people are funding the whole thing. It has been calculated that for us to be able to financially survive with our current welfare system, we would actually need to create 300,000 new jobs, roughly. And that is a tall order. For us to be able to put people into those jobs, and now I'm talking about the private sector only, for us to have people in those jobs, first of all, we need to keep the public sector the same size as it is today, or even smaller, which is a tall order considering that more people will be requiring the public sector services in the future. So the productivity pressure is huge in that sector. And the people in the private sector who do all the, all the work generating the wealth that pays for all of this are not enough. So we need about 200,000 to 300,000 new workers into the country. And these new workers can be created by, of course, pushing forward the retirement time decreasing the amount of time people spend in the universities or bringing new immig immigrants into the country. There's not that much else we can do. 
And we know that how, how friendly we are towards immigrants. We Finns have lots to learn in that regard. So it's a very complicated, multifaceted challenge that we face. And I believe that one thing that will definitely help and where we all can contribute is to create jobs in the country through entrepreneurship where the value add that is created is so high that actually a smaller number of jobs will be generating the kind of input into the economy that will be enough to maintain the welfare society that is so important in the Nordic countries. And entrepreneurship as such is identical to patriotism, in my opinion. Everybody who wants Finland to be a great place to live in for our kids actually needs to support startups, needs to su support entrepreneurship. And I think that's something that combines all of us here. So we are not just doing this because we believe in entrepreneurship ourselves. We are doing this for the future gen generations and the way of life. And I think that's a higher purpose. And as such, I think that we are here to celebrate entrepreneurship, entrepreneurs and startups. And I think we have some truly great startups here. So I wish the best of success to all of you, either in supporting entrepreneurship and startups or as being entrepreneurs yourselves. And let's do everything we can to make as many of these companies here as successful as they can be in the shortest possible amount of time. And thanks for the, the Alto ES team and especially the alumni who, have, who are showing a great example for all of us by stepping in and helping to catalyze these wonderful events and entrepreneurship within the framework of Alto University. So, thanks very much for accepting me here. It's great to meet all the entrepreneurs and all of you. And the best of luck. Thank you.